In this lecture, you will learn how to create a photo gallery from the images that we upload. So we're not going to be changing anything in our upload script. We are just going to change the view, which is this, to a gallery using Sleek Carousa. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over to Google and then search for Sleek, Sleek Carousa. Click on the first link that you see there. And then we are going over to get it now. So you click on the download link. All right, so I'm going to click here and say show in folder. Right click and then extract it. And then go inside the folder and then you will see Slick Carousa. So we're just going to copy all of these. So you copy the folder, come inside the project and just paste it. All right, so I have the Sleek Carousel folder right here. So we'll go over to index.view.php. And then in the add section, we're just going to include the script. So we're going to say link, rel, stylesheet, href. So it's going to be Sleek slash Sleek.css. And then the type will be test CSS. All right, going to duplicate this and then I'm also going to include Slick Team. So these are the two CSS files that we need. We also need to include the JavaScript file and then we need to actually include jQuery. So we'll go over to Chrome again and then we're going to search for jQuery CDM. If you already have jQuery on your computer, then you just you can just skip this step. All right? So I'm just going to take the latest one, get the minified version, grab the link here, go over to a project, and then right here, just going to paste it. So next, we're going to include another script. This time it's going to be for slick carousel type. It's going to be test JavaScript. And then the source, it's going to be slick one more time slash slick dot mean dot js the final step is for us to initialize the slick plugin so we can actually just include it here script and then write our javascript here but i prefer to include this in a separate javascript file so what we're going to do is go over to our script folder right click new javascript and then we call this slide.js click on ok so inside of here we're going to use make use of jquery say when the document is ready okay document.ready we want to call an anonymous function and then inside of this function what we do actually is to target the particular slick element but if you notice in our index.view we have not created any slick element here so therefore what we need to do first is to actually create a div which is going to be our slick element so here i'm going to say div class just call this gallery So this is going to wrap uh, for each statement. And then at the top here, say my photo gallery. So this is going to be the element that we want to target. And then the images, we can actually just wrap them within a div. So you're going to say div. So each of the images that has been uploaded will be inside of this div. And then everything is now going to be part of the gallery. So let's go over to slide.js and then look for the element. Gallery dot slick. Okay, 
So for now, we're just going to leave it as this and then try to uh, view it on the browser, see if everything is working fine. All right, so come here and then do a refresh. All right, so we can see the image start on one line. We try to see if our slick element is there. All right, you can see that there's nothing actually added to any of this element. Uh, the reason is because we did not include slick to the view file. So come here and say, call script slash slides. And then let's try to refresh again. Okay, so this is still not taking effect. So I'll check on the console. Alright, so we got an error here. Slick is not a function. Alright, so looking here, you can see that I spelled Slick with capital letter X. Alright, so we are supposed to use the small letter X in our script. So go over to slide.js and then change this to Slick. Let's do a refresh. Alright, you can see that our slide is... Uh, working right now what we just need to do is actually uh, give it a bit of style so that everything uh, works the way we want okay we're going to start with customizing the way our slick is going to undo our files so the different options that we can set here we can set the number of slides that we want to show so we're going to say slides to show this is one of the parameter which you can actually see all the various parameter if you go over to Slick website. Uh, let me just quickly show you that. Come on the usage. You can see all the various parameters that you can set here. Autoplay, auto, auto play speed, arrows, and then a lot of them here. You can actually just take time to review them. They are very easy to use. All right, so for the few that we are needing for this project, I'll just show you how to use them. So the next one that we want to do is autoplay. So we're going to say auto play. This is going to accept a boolean. Set this to true. And then next we can say autoplay speed. All right, so this should be capital X, autoplay speed. Let's say I want to set this to 2000, just be two seconds. And then next, we can actually also specify if we want to use some kind of animation. So we're going to say fade, set it to true, and then speed for this animation, set it to 300, make it a little bit faster, CSS ease. So all the various options that you can actually specify, you can find them in the documentation. So we're going to make this linear. And then we can set the infinite parameter to true. So say infinite should be true. So let's try to do a refresh again. All right, you should uh, notice the slide is now auto-playing. 